Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at this alarm clock by USCCE. This is an LED alarm clock and it features a 4.6 inch LED display, 9 minutes of snooze, you have a 12 and 24 hour mode, simple operation, 5 alarm sound options, you can control the brightness and the volume, and it also has a USB charging port. Let's open it up. Nicely packaged. So this is the adapter. So you could plug it into the wall, which is really nice. It also um, has the option for batteries. So if your power goes out, the batteries serve uh, as a really nice backup so your time um, can stay the same if you have some type of power outage. But you do not need batteries uh, to operate the clock because you can simply plug it into the wall. And then here is the clock. It's really nicely packaged, all this bubble wrap. Attention, please make sure the dimmer knob is on high before plugging in the clock Otherwise, the display will be blank. Okay, so that's good to know. And here's the dimmer knob back here. So it's low, high. Good stuff. All right. And we have some instructions here as well that come with the clock. So you have one instruction manual and you have two instruction manuals. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read the instructions and plug it in so we can take a look at some of the features of this clock. Hi, I am back and I've plugged it in and it says it's 12.08 a.m. In the instructions it actually says <laughs> that when you plug it in, it's going to be 12.08 a.m. So it's kind of funny, um, just a very interesting, interesting time, uh, I think. So let's go ahead and set the time. The time here currently is 1.48 p.m. So to set the time, whoops, to set the time, um, I believe you have to hold time set on the back here and then use the plus or minus keys to change the time. So I'm gonna hold time set. Okay, so now the hour is flashing. So it is 1.48, so I'm just gonna go up to one o'clock. And then I think we just press time set again. And now it's minutes and we want to go to 48. Maybe I'll go to 49, so I'm just gonna hit the plus arrow here. You can hold it to make it go faster. So let's go to, it's still 148 according to my other phone, so uh, I'm just gonna go with 148. It's about to turn to 49, I think, um, because it was 148 a few seconds ago, but I'll just leave it. So, and then just hit time set again, whoops, or any other button, I accidentally hit that, and then it goes away. So now the time is set, oh, I made a mistake, we need to be in PM, right? So let's do it again, time set. And we need to do PM, so we need to go all the way. There we go. And now it is 1.49 PM, so I'm gonna hit time set again and go to 1.49 PM. And then I think I just hit time set again, and it'll work, let's see, time set. Yeah, super easy, so we've set the time uh, on this clock, which is really easy to do, really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and set the alarm. So to set the alarm, all you do is you hit alarm set. So you hold it, okay, and let's change it to 1.51 p.m. So I'm gonna use the plus key here. One, and then alarm set again. And then let's go up again to 51 p.m. So we are at 51, and then alarm set. And then I'm gonna hit this button to turn the alarm on, and let's wait. The alarm should ring in just a few seconds um, because it's set for 1.51 p.m. So we should be able to hear the alarm ring uh, in just a few seconds. So let's see if it works, and make sure the volume is up. There's a, here is a volume is on high. It's got a low and high here for the volume. And you can mess with the alarm sounds, we'll play with that in a minute, but let's just see if it actually... Uh, 
Oh, wow. Interesting, right? Snooze. Very nice. And you can just snooze the alarm. So really, really cool. Let's play with the different alarm sounds. Let's see what we have here. The default. <laughs> Very cool. So I'll just hit alarm set. So you can set the different um, the, the different sounds by messing with that. So for example, if I wanted to set that one, just hit alarm set or any button I think, and you're good to go. So. Easy way to set the alarm, uh, easy way to set the time. Um, you can change between 12 and 24 hour mode. The only thing we haven't messed with is the dimmer. Let's see, oh yeah, you can dim it. And yeah, pretty nice. The extension cord, by the way, is very long. Um, it's a very long cord. Let me just show you how long this actually is. It's, you know, pan the camera over here to show you. I mean, that's, that's a very long cord. I mean, super long. It's way back there in the wall. So um, very, very long. Um, cord. So I yeah. should also mention that the instructions are extremely clear. So it comes with two sets of instructions and I was able to read them very quickly and understand all of the features of this alarm clock. For example, there's a part here that I thought was exceptionally good. It talks about how to set the alarm sound. And so basically you just press the alarm sound button on the back, which is over here. And you can you know, go through the different options. You've got beep, buzzer, bird sound, piano music, and soft music. Then it says here, if the alarm sound option, for example, two flashes for more than five seconds, the alarm sound two will be confirmed automatically and then you can exit from that mode. And look at this, notice, press any button, this is what I did earlier, on the back of the clock, you know, accept alarm sound to confirm your alarm sound quickly. So it's an easy way to do it. It talks about snooze, right? It'll temporarily silence your alarm. The alarm will sound again once the snooze period, nine minutes is over. So everything you need to know um, is here. To cancel the snooze at any time or turn off the alarm for the day while it is sounding, press any of the five buttons on the back of the clock. The alarm will go off again at the same time the next day. So everything is very, very clearly explained in these instructions. And I think that's a big plus, you know, um, there are certain electronics that you can buy and I've, I've purchased them. Um, alarm clocks and other things, and they don't even come with instructions or they come with really poor instructions. I really think that US CCE did a really good job here with the instructions, and yeah, I, I think it's really good. Really good work with that. Um, I'm not a person who is typically good with electronics, and um, I was able to understand these instructions very, very well. So, really awesome. Another big pro for this very beautiful, simplistic alarm clock. Yeah, I, I think this is a really good clock. I, I like it because it's simple. Um, it does have like a modern look, which I am a fan of. Uh, it's nice and black. And oh, let me show you the batteries. So if you wanted to use batteries, you could use three batteries here, three triple A's, and that will preserve um, the time and stuff uh, when the power goes out if you lose power. So that's also kind of nice. Also, it does have uh, the option for USB charging right here, so you can use a USB as well. But um, yeah, pretty cool. I think we've looked at all of the features now. Um, really nice clock, really simple design. I mean, there's all kinds of alarm clocks on Amazon. Um, why would you choose this one? I think for its simplicity, right? It's a really simple alarm clock. It's simple, it's got some nice options for the alarm sounds, easy to use, has battery backup, a very, very long uh, cord. So you're not gonna have an issue with a short cord. And it looks pretty stylish, right? I like it. So again, I think if you're looking for a nice simple alarm clock, I think this one by US CCE is a pretty good choice. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.